and welcome from Hike Vision. I'm Matt Rose and I look after vertical pre-sales here at Hike Vision. Today we're looking at the new KM9503 series Android IP main station which is part of our video intercom line. So what is the Android IP main station? Well it's an updated version of our previous IP master station and this version has a new user interface with some additional functions and enhanced capabilities. This Android IP main station is like the master station for an office building or block of flats and is used mainly in concierge stations or at reception desks to receive calls from the external door station. The user can allow entry to be granted and can also receive calls and alarms from other indoor stations which might be in the individual apartments or offices. It's available as the one 10.1 inch IPS touchscreen model. The KM9503 is part of the Hike Vision video intercom line, which features a wide range of products providing two way audio and video verification for entry control. The Android IP series replaced Hike Vision's earlier IP video intercom products, which formerly ran on Linux only. The Android range is being expanded and updated all of the time. So, what's the deal with the KM9503 then? What are the most important noteworthy features? Let's run through them. First off, it lets the user to view up to four live screens simultaneously. And that comes in handy when you know it can also support up to 128 cameras and 10,000 video intercom devices so the KM9503 can form the hub of a truly extensive system for large building environments. It also allows for HD video calls between the main station and door stations and a really wide variety of peripherals can be connected too via its HDMI port and multiple USBs. There are also four audio inputs and outputs. The KM9503 includes a call waiting function when multiple calls come in simultaneously from either the door stations or indoor stations. And it also offers call priority. This means that if there are multiple main stations in use and the one that you have assigned the highest priority to is busy, it will automatically forward the call to the next highest priority main station. There are also flexible options for device management and maintenance. Configuration and management can be provided locally or via the web and this device can be upgraded using the TF card or USB drive. So let's run through the tech specs for the KM9503 main station. So it works with the Android 7.1 operating system. The camera resolution is 2 megapixels and the IPS touchscreen is 10.1 inches in size. It has the capacity to work with up to 128 connected network cameras and 10,000 video intercom devices. The four audio inputs include a built-in omnidirectional microphone, external speaker, external gooseneck microphone, and a 3.5 millimeter external earphone. The audio outputs are the built-in loudspeaker, external speaker, external voice box, or 3.5 millimeter earphone. You can connect a monitor or screen via the HDMI interface to view the display operation page. Communication protocols are TCP IP, SIP and RTSP. There are two alarm inputs, two network interfaces and three USB ports. It works with a TF card, otherwise called a micro SD card, up to sizes of 128 gigabytes. And the power supply is a standard PoE or 12 volt DC. Let's have a look inside the box. As we can see, we've got the main station here. Uh, we've also got a power supply. We've got the gooseneck microphone. We've got a, an adapter plate, which is used to secure the hands-free speaker to the side of the unit, along with the hands-free speaker unit itself. Let's have a look at some of the connections that are on the rear of the unit. So if I just flip this one over, Hopefully you can see that there on the screen. But looking at this, we've got um, HDMI port over here, three USB ports. This one here is the power connector for our power supply. We've got some output connectors, and these include our inputs, outputs, 
RS-485 connectors and relay outputs. We've got two LAN connections as well. One's for PoE and another one is a standard network connection. Let me just turn the unit over onto the right hand side. Hopefully we can see there that we've got the USB connector for the extension speaker. We've also got, on the back of the unit, we've got another USB extension port which we use for the Goosenet microphone. So what does each part do? This one, as you can imagine, is not complicated. You talk into the microphone and the main station does the rest. See our main station demo video for the lowdown on how it works in practice. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Don't forget to visit our website as shown below at hikevision.com forward slash UK. If you want more information, including those demo videos, search for Hike Vision UK Technical Support on YouTube and you'll find an ever-expanding library of short guides to choose from. Bye for now.